Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What does SSRS deployment or publishing mean? So let's say you started as a SSRS developer in a company. Now you get some requirement to create one of the report. You went to the bids or SSDT and then you have created that report. Now we can preview this report. This is a report you have created. And uh, this report was created for one of the manager or business user. Now you, you need to present uh, this report to that uh, manager or business user. What, one, one thing you can call that person on your desk and say, hey, I have created your report. Or you can export your report uh, to the Excel or uh, uh, PDF and just send him. This is one way you can present uh, the report to him. But he would like to see report any time and you might not be available at that time. So what we need to do, we have a process in SSRS called the deployment or publishing where you create the reports in the bids or SSDT or by using the report builder and then finally save that report to the report server. So report server is a, a, a web interface or a, a place where different users will have a permission. So we take these reports .rdl files and upload those files to the report server. So let me show you how the report server will look like. So here is the report server URL. So we see that there are folders data sources where our data sources will be saved which will be used by our reports and uh, there are report folder where I have deployed some of the reports uh, so the business users or managers or any other person in your company whoever will have permission uh, on the report server uh, folders uh, they can go and uh, view these uh, reports uh. so this is how you will manage uh, the reports uh. so you will create the reports uh, in your bids SSDT or report builder and then upload those report to the report server that's called deployment or publishing a report. You have to also publish or deploy the uh, data sources as well. The shared data sets can also be deployed or published to the report server. Now, there are multiple ways to publish or um, deploy or upload those uh, reports uh, data sources and data sets uh, to the report uh, server one way you can use the ssdt sql server data tools uh, or bids uh, or directly save from the report builder other way you can come to the interface uh, this interface is called report manager so you have all those folders and everything and then you can upload the file directly from uh, here so in this uh, video we are not going to show you that in next video i will show you how to deploy the reports by using bids or ssdt or uh, uh, how to use uh, uh, the report manager to upload those uh, rdls uh, but uh, to understand uh, this concept uh, you cannot just create the reports and have them on your local machine always uh, you will be creating and then uh, you will be deploying uh, or publishing or uploading uh, to the report server in, in different companies uh, you will have environments uh, where you will have permission as a developer uh, to upload those uh, reports uh, those uh, those servers uh, report servers can be test servers uh, or uh, they can be development uh, but most of the time you will not have permission in UAT or productions uh, so you have to provide the RDLs uh, or uh, um, your other um, shared data sets or shared data sources definitions uh, to the DBAs and they will publish or deploy or upload your objects to the report server in production and UAT. I hope this video will help and I will see you guys in the next video.